Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to see about research approach and research design. This is my part C video. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students, as well as students who are studying MSc nursing. If you have not watched my previous videos, I have given the link of nursing research and statistics playlist in description box, suggested end card and I card. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. So the contents what we are going to discuss in this video is definition of research design, elements in research design and factors affecting selection of research design. What is a research design? A research design is the framework or guide used for planning implementation and analysis of a study so it is a systematic plan of what is to be done and how it should be done and how the data to be analyzed so in research design just it is a master plan for conducting the study so here what you are going to do where you are going to do how you are going to do and how you are going to analyze the data findings so everything you will be planning in this research design so research design is the master plan specifying the methods and procedures for collecting and analyzing the needed information in your research study so how you are going to select the samples how who is your population how you are going to select the samples what is the sampling technique and what methods or tools are used for data collection and how you are going to analyze the data Okay, so everything you will be learning in research design. So research design is a plan of how, when and where data to be collected as well as it is analyzed. So how, when, where, at what time, where you are going to collect the data and by using what methods you are going to collect the data. For example, sometimes you will use questionnaire, sometimes you will use rating scale, sometimes you will use a checklist like that and all. So, and what statistics you are going to use, whether it is inferential statistics, descriptive statistics, whether it is how you are going to test the hypothesis, everything you are going to learn by means of research design. So, research design is the researcher's overall plan for answering the research question. That is, in problem statement, you are formulating a research question. So, there you are going to test the hypothesis. So, research design, it is the researcher's overall plan for answering the research question what has been stated and also to test the research hypothesis. So what are all the elements of research design? So I told research design is a master plan or a blueprint. Okay. So the elements of research design are the approach, population, sample, sampling technique, time, place, source of data collection, tools and methods of data collection, method of data analysis. The first is approach, research approach, what approach you are going to descriptive approach or experimental approach or exploratory approach. Then uh, population, who is your population to whom you are going to generalize your findings. And from the population, suppose if you are going to do a study on hypertensive patients means all the patients who are having hypertension will be your population. But you cannot study all the patients in the world or in the country. So out of those you will be taking some samples like a 30, 50, 100, 500,000 like that. So, they, so uh, sample is nothing but a subset of population. Then sampling techniques. So, you have so many uh, sampling techniques whether you are going to use a purposive sampling technique uh, or convenient sampling technique or a multi-stage sampling technique like that. Uh, uh, everything uh, uh, there are so many sampling techniques. So, which sampling technique is apt for your study that you are going to take into consideration. Next is the time, place and source of data collection. So, where you are going to collect the data in which place and what are all the sources of data collection as well as the tools and methods as I have told you earlier whether you are going to follow rating scale, checklist or uh, a questionnaire etc. Methods of data analysis, again you have inferential statistics, descriptive statistics, what data analysis you are going to do that also uh, you can see. Next is, uh, so this is a diagrammatic representation of elements of research design. So here you have approach, methods of analysis, tools and methods of data collection, 
டைம் அண்ட் மெத்தட்ஸ் ஆஃப் டேட்டா கலெக்ஷன் ஹூ இஸ் யுவர் பாப்புலேஷன் சாம்பிளிங் சாம்பிளிங் டெக்னிக் ஸோ த ரிசர்ச் அப்ரோச் இஸ் வாட் குவாலிட்டேட்டிவ் குவான்டிட்டேட்டிவ் ஆர் இட் கேன் பி போத் குவாலிட்டேட்டிவ் அண்ட் குவான்டிட்டேட்டிவ் வித் ஆர் வித் அவுட் கன்செப்ஷுவல் ஃப்ரேம் ஒர்க் அட் எம்எஸ்சி லெவல் யூ வில் பி லேர்னிங் அபவுட் கன்செப்ஷுவல் ஃப்ரேம் ஒர்க் இன் பிஎஸ்சி லெவல் ஒன்லி யூ வில் பி லேர்னிங் த தியரி பார்ட் ஆஃப் கன்செப்ஷுவல் ஃப்ரேம் ஒர்க் ஆர் தியரிட்டிக்கல் ஃப்ரேம் ஒர்க் பட் இன் எம்எஸ்சி லெவல் யூ வில் பி டூயிங் இன் ரிவ்யூ ஆஃப் லிட்ரேச்சர் அலாங் வித் ரிவ்யூ ஆஃப் லிட்ரேச்சர் யூ வில் பி ஃப்ரேமிங் தி கன்செப்ஷுவல் ஃப்ரேம் ஒர்க் ஆல்சோ நெக்ஸ்ட் மெத்தட் ஆஃப் அனலைசிஸ் okay what method you are going to who is your population who is your sample sampling technique time and methods of data collection tools and methods uh, and method of analysis so the approach it involves the descriptive approach it can be qualitative quantitative or both uh, or it can be structured and structured or a combination of these two methods uh, okay so already i have uh, posted in my party a video about research approach you can watch that video if you want uh, to know more about it next the population sample and sampling technique already i have told who is the population who is the sample and what sampling technique you are going to use so the time place and sources of data collection where you are going to collect the data so everything i have explained uh, previously itself so tools and methods of data collection what are all the various tools like questionnaire interview like a scale generating scale like that so much uh, tools are there in data collection unit we will be discussing later next methods of data analysis a research design must include various methods of data collection like quantitative or qualitative techniques next uh, here um factors affecting selection of research design nature of research problem purpose of study researcher's knowledge and experience researcher's interest and motivation researcher's ethics and principles subjects or participants resources time possible control of extraneous variables and uses of the study finding so let's see one by one so first is nature of research problem so the some research problem you can do only by means of experimental study some research problem you cannot do experimental study you have to go for non experimental study or descriptive approach or sometimes quasi experimental study next is purpose of the study what is the study purpose need what is the use so whether it is correlation purpose or exploratory purpose or experimental purpose or a descriptive purpose so that you have to identify it next researcher knowledge and experience so the researcher if he is very confident in conducting a research and if he is having very good knowledge in various methods of research methodology he will be doing it very effectively if he is experienced in doing research also then he will be more experienced so okay so his knowledge and experience uh, means a lot suppose if he is not confident if he is not having adequate knowledge then uh, the research will be full of collapse next researcher's interest and motivation so personally the researcher should have interest uh, in uh, conducting research without interest not only this research anything we cannot uh, do it researchers ethics and principles ethics are nothing but codes of conduct of moral behavior so whenever you are doing research ethics is very very important the ethical principles has you have to consider it then subjects or participants so subjects or participants no under the subjects or participants without participants you may not be able to do a research and who the participants whom you are selecting they should represent the population to whom the findings are going to get generalized so based on the thing whether it is qualitative or quantitative research the subject selection the number the sampling size everything will be varying resources so you need time money personal equipments facilities for conducting the research time is a very very important factor whether you have to complete within one month or within three years whether it is longitudinal study or time series study okay what is the time duration for conducting the study is very very important so it also affects your research design then possible control of extraneous variables possible control of extraneous variables means uh, uh, here uh, you should be in a position to control uh, other uh, variables which can affect your research study okay so when you are controlling the other variables which are going to affect your research study then that time what will happen the errors will be minimized suppose if you are going to take uh, any research uh, study the variables you have intraneous um, variables and extraneous variables that to be uh, that to be minimized okay otherwise it will be affecting your research study uses of the study finding so the you have to 
include various methods of data collection and analysis then only you can interpret the research and you can communicate your research to the population or general public to whom you have to generalize your findings so these are all the various factors which affect your research design hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested in the card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel